Hey, how you guys doing? Um, thanks for taking a second to check out the video. Um, you know, it's funny today, I'm having a bit of a day and it's one of those things where it's like, I probably shouldn't make a video today on, on fundraising um, because I'm just not in the mood. But to be honest, I can't find the time and I really wanna make sure I get a video out there so I can kind of explain to you guys what I'm trying to do um, and why I'm doing it. Uh, so this year is gonna mark 20 years of sobriety for me, 20 years. And actually on days like today, you know, where you're having a day. Now, I've got everything really under control. So really what I'm battling is whether I eat a bag of chips or um, break my goal of not having Diet Cokes for the year. But these are the type of days that, you know, set you off um, the path of sobriety. And it's a day that I'm gonna stay on 20 years um, and I'm gonna stick to it and hopefully have the rest of my life without any issues. Now, 20 years of sobriety, like I said, um, very proud of that. I want to celebrate that. One of the ways I want to do that, and I'd love you guys to, to help me with this, is I'm raising money uh, for a phenomenal uh, organization. It's a, through a tournament for hockey. It's called Hockey Helps the Homeless. Uh, they raise millions and millions of dollars to help homelessness, um, to end homelessness, homelessness maybe. <laughs> That's a tough word. So yeah, I'm having a day. I can't say anything. Um, and you know, for me, it's interesting because two of the leading causes of homelessness are uh, mental illness and substance abuse or addiction. And the two are kind of really closely linked. So you could almost argue that they're the same thing. So to honor this uh, sobriety of mine, this is a great cause to support, I believe. And my goal is to raise $2,000. And so I need your help for uh, $2,000 with a stretch goal of 20000 and uh, that would be incredible. Obviously, get there. Two thousand being the minimum. Um, every donation will help. There'll be a link below uh, that you can donate. Anything over twenty-five dollars gets a uh, tax receipt. So that's great. It's basically like you know, free money. <laughs> uh, so click the link below if you can. At a minimum, please share the video. Uh, again, for me, hockey. Another interesting thing for me about the hockey connection, and you know, mental health being a, a leading cause of homelessness is hockey is my therapy. You know, that is where I go. That is the one thing that I do that everything else in the world, uh, no matter how bad everything is, um, when I get on the ice, when my blade touches that surface and I do those first few laps and I've got whatever little routine I have, um, it's incredible uh, how, how everything else kind of just fades away. And all I'm thinking about is hockey and the game. Now, some of you that have played with me, uh, maybe saying, well, yeah, you're not always the calmest, happiest guy on the ice. True, true. But at least I'm only mad about hockey and nothing else. Um, and then you know what else is great too? Uh, and I was talking to some guys about this the other day. It's just the dressing room, you know? Um, kind of like that final frontier where we can just hang out with the boys um, and enjoy that atmosphere. It's, all, it's kind of almost a sacred place, you know, for, for hockey players. Anybody that plays the game understands. So it's a really neat way for me to... to to use a hockey tournament to celebrate my sobriety and to support a cause that's battling, you know, addiction and mental illness uh, that results in homelessness. Um, so please, if you can, uh, all we need is 20 people to donate 100. Is that you? Ah. Um, share the video, uh, donate if you can, and I would really appreciate that. Thank you, love you guys. And uh, if, oh, one last thing sobriety, obviously 20 years. If you yourself or you know anybody that is battling with um, addiction and uh, trying to get sober or stay sober, I'd be more than happy to, to speak with you or with them um, if they wanna kinda just talk about some of the things that I've used to, to help me on, uh, on that, to stay sober and to be on the right track. And I also want to just speak to how it's not all doom and gloom. You know, sometimes people think like, oh, there's no fun in it. Like, no, my life got considerably better. Um, and if anybody ever sees me at a Christmas party, they think I'm drunk. And when they find out I'm not, they think I'm a little bit crazy. Uh, so you can definitely have fun. Um, and you can definitely still have a good life, a better life, if you learn how to uh, get sober and stay sober. Uh, so yes, if you need any, if anybody wants any help or, or any tips, things that I've used for myself, I'd be happy to share that as well. Okay. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching the video. 
And hopefully we get those goals, 2,000 and stretch goal of 20,000. Hey, -oh. thanks.